Panthers interim head coach Steve Wilk kicked Robbie Anderson out of the game yesterday late in the third after the receiver got into a heated argument with position coach Joe Daly. Anderson said after he had no idea why he was sent to the locker room. Panthers lost to the Rams 24 to 10. Shannon, what's your reaction? I mean, Wilk made the right call. Just go on and check it in. Um, first of all, Robbie Anderson is not a good enough player to behave like that on the sideline. If he was giving you eight, nine catches a game, buck, touchdown, mm. end of the season, he's going to have 115 catches, 12, 1,300 yards, eight, nine, 15 touchdowns. Okay, you, you, you know, you probably could accept some of that. But at what he's giving you right now, last year he had 53 catches. Right now he has 13 catches in six games. He played for Matt Rule at Temple. No, you can't behave in that, man. I, I, don't, I don't get why he went back at – first of all, I don't even get why he was arguing with the uh, uh, position coach, position coach, position coach to yeah. begin with. Uh, he said something about, you know, he wanted to be in the game and they told him to get out of the game. Okay, it happened. Maybe you weren't in the personnel grouping. Hell, I had to come out there. Some personnel group is I wasn't in, so I go to the sideline. It was like, man, come on, man, why y'all taking me out? But come on, man, hey, I, it's it's not that big of a deal. Look, I get it, and and sometimes the only time I've had a problem, I got upset. But I, what I did is I handled it once the game was over, and I just went to him. Skip, we was, I never forget it was in Kansas City, and we had a, uh, we was on a, a single tight end, and then I see Chamberlain come in, so I know we going to two tight end. We going to uh, Tiger personnel, and I'm always the Tiger, no matter who is. They say, Shannon, go to Y. Mm. Go to Y. Call Y stick, you looky. Now, the y, the stick route, Skip, is the dummy route. Mm. I've cleared it out so the looky, so the looky got two-way option. Yeah. After the game, I just went to Coob and said, hey, Coob, they don't pinch it for Barry Bonds. Your offense coordinator. Offense coordinator. coordinator. Mm -hmm. I said, Coob, they don't pinch it for Barry Bonds. Okay. Except for the day. Well, well, he was probably thinking the same thing, <laughs> except he's not yeah. Shannon Sharp. No, no, okay. no, 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 man. I'm mad up a seven-time Pro Bowl and four-time first-team All-Pro, bro. You coming in and you gonna let you go put me on a decoy route? Come on now. So that's the way I handle. But Skip, I, I get guys like man, you don't motion. I've never and I, and I love to win because I know how much time I invested in trying to win and what I ate and how I lived. Yep. Skip, I ain't never got nothing said. I'm, I'm gonna walk up on my bro. We can address, first of all, I know cameras are everywhere. We can address this like men. You a man, I'm a man. I respect you, you respect me. Come Monday morning, we're going to talk about it. It says, okay, how do we get on the same page so this doesn't happen again? Yep. But I don't, I don't know what the hell Robbie Anderson thinking. But Skip, if you trade the guy, okay, somebody takes on the 575 million, but the 575,000. Yeah. They restructured his contract. He's going to have $20 million in dead money this year next. At Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what the hell they were thinking to give him a car. That's not the hero nor there. He had but a couple of monster years by his standards for the Jets. Yes, yes, and he parlayed that into a big contract, and then they restructured it. Yep. But uh, like like Will said, like uh, look, this is all about the team. Nobody's bigger than the team. And Robbie Anderson, you're definitely not big enough, good enough to behave in this manner. Now I don't know what was said, what got him so upset. I don't know what Joe Daly said back to him, but. Bro, y'all, y'all, this this could have been handled a lot a lot smoother than what it was handled yesterday. Your first point, I vehemently agree with. Steve Wilkes did the right thing. He is the new sheriff in that town. I don't know how long the sheriff is going to last. Because oh, he'll last the rest of the year. He'll okay. last. The rest no, of the year. I know that, but yeah. after. Oh after yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not sure. But the point was, Matt Rule went along with most of Robbie Anderson's moods and, and issues and foibles. And Steve Wilkes just said, no, no, I've seen enough. No. You're, you're done. He pouted a little bit. He got into it. And, and I get he was upset. It was a key third down. And for whatever reason, he wasn't in that position. Group. Right. And all of a sudden, he's sitting by himself on the sideline after he, he got into it with, the, with Joe Daly. And then the next thing you know, he's on the exercise bike and he's making – He's, he's making a circus out of it. Yeah. And, and Steve Wilkes is like, no, I, I don't play this. Maybe Matt would let you go because he coached him at Temple. And Correct. he said, I know him. I can figure him out. I also think Matt Rule looks at Robbie Anderson at, the way I do. In the end, I'm, I don't know Robbie Anderson, but I've, I've followed him closely from a distance. I, I actually think his heart is in the right place, but his head isn't always in mm -hmm. the right place. But I, I think his heart is a good heart. He went through those issues in New York after his breakout year. He got arrested one night and had to spend a whole night in Broward County Jail. Mm -hmm. And ESPN reported he had he, he was charged with traffic related violations on 10 different occasions, most of them speeding. Well, you've been there. Mm -hmm. I've been there. 
but not 10 not times. Not 10 times. Hell no, no. Not 10 times. One time it was 105. You've been there. Been there. I, I know that feeling. <laughs> I, I got it. Unfortunately, I haven't had that, knock on wood, but I've had my share. And yet the point is he seemed to rise above all that. Mm -hmm. He had a couple of big breakout years. I'll never forget that 92-yarder he caught from Sam Darnold that basically beat my Cowboys in the game you were at Denver yep. rooting against, I right? Was, it was I like was. the third game of the year. Yep. Amari Cooper disappeared as usual on the road. But the point is, to Robbie's credit, he stayed and he said, I'm going to talk to the media because I, I didn't talk enough to the media when I went through my arrest situations. Right which he got cleared of, all, right. all things considered. But the, the point is, he stayed yesterday to say, hey, I just wanted to go back in the game. So he tried, and he said, I'm going to sit down with Coach Wilkes, and we're going to try to figure this out. And Coach Wilkes said he will, as you said, sit down and try to figure this yeah. out. But in, in the end, I didn't love it when he did the, the two-letter tweet when, about Baker Mayfield. No, remember that? <laughs> I, I think he did, as I recall, reach out to try to come on the show to, right. to talk about it right. and say whatever. I don't know exactly how he was going to defend right. himself, and it didn't click for us. Right. But I, I do think he's trying to be the best he can be. Right. But it, it, the, the problem is you have to grow up and grow out of, right. of that childish behavior, which your new sheriff in town is not going to accept. Yeah, there have been a lot of times, like I said, there are certain personnel groupings. We used to have a personnel grouping and, and uh, 20 personnel, yep. which was three wide receivers and two backs. Yep. And I was like, why the hell I ain't in there? I'm the best wide receiver. I get it, I'm not a wide receiver by, you know, by title, but I should be. I'm like, I'm like, he's like, we'll get in there. But for the longest time, for like three or four games, Skip, I wasn't in there on that personnel group. Okay, fine. But I'm not, man, hey, man, you know who I am. Man. <laughs> okay, on, and bro. remember, his name has been bandied about on trade rumors yeah. all week long leading up to this. So I'm sure he's thinking. What am I getting, though, Skip? Okay. 13 catches? Okay. I, I got it. But I, I'm sure his attitude was, well, if you don't want me, just get me out of here, right? And the poach said, okay, well, go, go on out of here. Yeah, go, go right on go, to, yeah, go to the shower. And I will not be surprised if he does get traded. He but might get cut. He might get cut. He just well might get cut. That's the, the, Skip, you find out a lot about your personnel yep. when you're losing. I agree. Because everybody's hungry. Everybody's going to show up early when you win. Ooh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. You learn a lot about your team when you're going through a hard time when you lose in ball games. Yep. You'll find out who really wants to be there, yep. who really wants to put it on the line I week agree. in and week out. Trust just, me, I've I, been there. I got it. But I don't think this is an A-B kind of situation. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Panthers fans certainly are hoping the drama can be settled quickly, guys. The Bucks come calling this Sunday oh. for the Panthers. That matchup's coming up on the know. NFL on Fox. Talking about to get right and on coming that. up for us know. was Friday, one of the last times we're going to see Russell Westbrook in a Lakers what? uniform. What you don't want to miss that? this discussion. Skip and Shannon dive in <laughs> up next. So